Lucas Media. All right, so we got some news coming out of basketball. Bronny James completed his second game. Uh, I know he missed the other game the other day with a knee injury for playing against the Miami Heat. And Bronny scored three points, one for three is shooting. He missed uh, one three-point attempt, and he went one for two from the line. My bad. So he scored two points in the free throw um also he had a couple of other stats as he got five rebounds three assists and three block shots and coming away with two steals you know espn and you know these other corporate media sites that i keep saying and be, we're from, wait a minute shout out to ticket tv and dreamers pro i seen they both went live on Bronny man but i'm gonna be honest i'm sorry and i and i'm the biggest lebron supporter y'all know I keep saying I got a center not too far from Bronny's age. Man, he ain't ready. He's not ready. And, you know, I'm a big believer in nepotism. I had no problem with it. And, you know, a lot of people say that somebody else deserved that slot. My whole thing is if you can play, you can play, and they'll find you. But honestly, I mean, Bronny, man, he's just not ready, man. He should have went back to college for real. There is no difference between how he was in high school two years ago and how he is in college. I mean, how he's in the pros right now. You know, and I, I seen his interview, I think it was with Andy Katz, I believe. But I seen his interview and he talked about, you know, he just want to be able to play. You know, he want to be known as playing the right way of basketball. But I mean, I, you seem out of position. Are you a, are you a shooting guard? I know you try to play point guard, but you said you didn't feel comfortable playing off the ball. But you six one. I seen ESPN list you at six two, but they said the draft you was six one. It just it. I don't know, man. It's definitely forced. It's forced. I'm sorry. It's forced. I tried. I tried. I tried to give it a chance. You know, even though we all know we saw what we saw. You know, they my they really got Bronny as a real project because he's not ready at all. I'm watching him on defense. Like I said, he's standing around. I don't see him locking nobody down. And I keep saying that the that the corporate media, they're going to find every narrative to make sure that Bronny is, you know, he got something. Like uh, Two Raw said, they'll blow up the minutes just to not show it. Or just like this article I just read, oh, well, he was able to pad his stats in other ways. If you sub Bronny out for me or you, do you think we would have made the Lakers? Do you think we would have had a guaranteed contract? Do you think JJ Redick would have came out there and said, oh, I earned the position or you earned the position? We would have got laughed at. Not only that, we might have lost our scholarship at the school we was at. And like I said, I tried even last year when I watched him play college basketball. And I can't remember if it was against Auburn or one of them schools. They Somebody dunked on him and was talking trash and you could tell Bronny was zoned out. And I was like, wow, Bronny's not ready. Dude was so much physically more gifted than Bronny that he wasn't ready. And you just seen it time after time in college. You know, yeah, he had flashes. He has flashes. You know, it's just like lightning. You know how lightning strike and then it go right away and the sun come back out? That's how Bronny is. Man, I just, I, I don't understand why LeBron was in a rush. You already had, you already had the Lakers at the palm of your hands. You could have just signed a two-year deal, opted out next year, and then leveraged them, got Bronny some more reps and stuff. And man, they finna try to destroy this kid in the G League. I won't be surprised if the Lakers won't put him in the G League, but then, you know, he's not gonna really play and then they don't want to give it certain interviews. But it, I don't know. I don't know. I've never seen nothing like this before. And again, I'm not talking about, I know we got uh, the Shanahan's and other forms of Netflix nepotism that's fine Bronny is clearly not ready yet at all but lebron and these other people will tell you like oh man you know he's just he's such a hard player you know how many hard players out there and don't none of them got is getting paid two million dollars a year to be the 55th overall pick i don't know i don't know like i said when i watched the game today i seen four to five players out there that was better than him so i don't know man y'all let me know y'all am i tripping am i going too hard on Bronny? do y'all think that Bronny's going to be an all-star or what because you know the one of my coaches who played the league told me this one day professional football the eye in the sky don't lie you know so if i see you score three points in the entire game and you tell me that those aren't the right stats you know to not to ignore those stats i mean what you expect so i don't know man i don't know i i, I mean hey according to lebron Roddy don't care so you know it is what it is but i i don't know as a father as a father, I would have not thrown my son out there like that. Even if I had the keys like that, if I would have watched him play in college, we would have sat down and I would have been like, you know what? You could just, just go back one more year. I remember Shaq, right? When Shaq, he could have came out his sophomore year. He said him and his mom and his dad had a conversation. They asked him something about math or what accounting. And he couldn't answer the question. They said, man, just go back another year. Why? Why that couldn't happen with Bronny? Bronny would have had whatever team at the palm of his hands. He would have been the face of college basketball and would have been making way more millions, you know, but I don't know. I don't know. Like I said, I, 
I really hope he can, he can somehow turn it around, but it's really hard. It's really hard. Like I said, he going he gonna to be a real project, and I'm talking about a three, four-year project. Y'all remember when you watch an old football, or even basketball, honestly. It'd be people, they used to draft overseas, and then I, I would hear people say, oh, they're two years away from me and two years away. That's what I'm seeing right now with Bronny. But y'all let me know if I'm tripping, and tell me what y'all think.